Welcome to Geneva County, a rural county nestled in the southeastern part of Alabama, right on the Alabama-Florida state line. The September 2011 disappearance of 19-year-old Shana Janelle Peoples sent shockwaves. Shana was diagnosed with bipolar disorder. She also struggled with a speech impediment and delayed cognitive functions. It was reported that at 19, Shana had the Standing six feet and around 120 pounds, with long, sandy blonde hair and brown eyes, Shana was a young woman who stood out. It wasn't just her physical traits, though, that made her easy. It was likely the desire to be independent that led Shana to leaving her parents' home and moving in with her boyfriend, Wendell Hudspeth, who was roughly 26. Also reported, though, Wendell had a number of friends and associates that hung out at or near their house. We called Geneva Police Department and were lucky enough to actually catch Chief Pepper Mock, who was incredibly helpful. I was going However, September 8, 2011 was anything but. Shana had a brief phone call with her boyfriend that afternoon, which was also the last call Shana had. Law enforcement stated an unnamed friend of Shana's came by her home and found the front door open and the TV on. There are comments that law enforcement have made over the years, including Chief Mock, where they say they think that the person... This should bother everybody in this city because if it's somebody local, it's probably somebody that you see around town every day. If you're out there... They're on duty. They're on duty. What would yes. you want to happen if this were your child? If somebody's out there that knows anything, please call. We want to. Call. It don't get no easier. We just wish somebody would come forward and let us know what happened to our daughter. All it takes is one person to come forward. It's been almost 12 years. Shannon Peoples has been missing. I don't think anybody has any. 